morning YouTubers. I just thought I'd put a video of me doing my monthly clean on my protein skin. So you're gonna have to bear with me while I get the camera in position. It's not too bad. Alright, I'm gonna strip the skimmer down. I cleaned the collection cup yesterday, but we had some power problems with the electric heat going on and off in our town. So then the motor wouldn't run. So I had to leave the protein skimmer off last night. But what I usually do, stop the line, put a toothbrush, nice soft bristle toothbrush, cleaning it. This doesn't usually take too long. But I like, I like having it all nice and clean. So that's the intake pipe. I don't want any obstructions in it. I think I like that this toothbrush is small, it's got nice soft bristles, so it's not going to scratch the plastic. It can get into pipes, you can see it's inside that pipe. Just give it a quick turn in there, so there's no obstructions in that neither. Since I've changed the motor, this thing works like a dream. I clean it once a week. And like, this is like a monthly strip down, clean the pump, clean the power, the main chambers. That's that pipe right. done. This all goes like that. It comes out wet. I'll do this pipe first. This is the intake pipe for the pump, pump as well. As you can see, which is inside. Do the scroll down. Bring it all over to soft bristle toothbrush. Use it to clean a lot of things. Uh, can you decide it fall over? Right, back again. I don't know what people's reviews are like on this Dell Tech 300, but I quite like it. It's a hang on the bag. I haven't got the sun. It's not very big, so I don't need much wall clearance. The top's four inches of wall clearance. And when they work, they do work. I'm just unfortunate that I got one with a dodgy motor. That's the mess of cleared out. Too harsh and it'll probably scratch the plastic. If I've got anything very stubborn, I usually use a fingernail, scratch it with a fingernail because I just don't want the plastic. Uh, scratched or anything like that. Let's do a bit more fun and games. Inside of the tube. Just like that. 
sometimes it's better doing this in the bath <laughs> where I've got more room. Coraline algae, green algae in here. That's the light from the uh, hang on back refugal doesn't get to the lighting skimmer a bit. We get a little bit of algae inside here. The only thing that I'm after cleaning today really is the mortar to get it running again. Because usually when the power goes down and comes back on, it does start up. So obviously it does need to clean. It might be the magnets. Just want the slime cleaning off. That's when I use the green scabbery pad. This is an old one though. If you get a new one, they do scratch like mad. That's why I like this toothbrush as well, it's an old toothbrush. Yeah, what it 
was. Now we're going to pump. The pump was not bothered. <laughs> and you just carry it past. <laughs> it's a pump. That being clear acrylic, you can see it on the pump, it doesn't matter. If you can scurry up and give it a little scrub in. This is what usually happens slime on the impeller. Some recommend using a piece of emery paper, wet and dry, even in a rough book. As I'm cleaning it with a scary pad and apply a, a little bit more pressure, it, it acts as a wet and dry emery paper. It cleans all the muck off the, the magnet. Just give the pin pinwheel uh, clean with the bris bristles, get any muck that's in between. Impeller, like new. Just get a brush inside the chamber where the impeller goes. Give it a good scrubbing around, make sure there's no muck inside there. things up. Let's get it back in the case. Ah, there you go. Make sure the uh, bubble pipe on. It's facing the right way. Slight 30, 30 odd degree upwards, I have it.
trying to look at why it's so tight going back to that. Obviously, I'm doing something not quite right. again had a little problem <laughs> the uh, water was I put in wrong way around wrong way around in Chinese uh, I should have really watched what I was doing I managed to get it out what I had to do was uh, use some boiling water it uh, softened up the acrylic in the water to uh, release it so back at it got that out I wanted to get the body a bit of a quick rub down. Get rid of the uh, green allergy that's coming on it. Surprising what Caroline algae grows. Okay, inside the protein skin in the walls of it. Time. Let's clean the sink. Oh, the other half won't be happy. This is a dedicated towel for fish stuff. And I'm transporting things backwards and forwards, catching drips. tank and get it going again. So I'll be back to you. Right, protein skimmer back in place, all cleaned. 
what I did was fill the chamber with some RO water to get it going. As you can see, the intake pipes only half. To prime them, you've got to turn the air off completely and let it prime itself. It'll take a few minutes, as you can see, the pipe is slowly filling up. Once that's running full, full pipe, then you can alter the air so you get the right, correct, right amount of bubbles. As you can see, now it's full of help. Get that running for a second, and then I'll get the air set. I do it very slowly, I don't do it completely to where I have it set. Just do that bit, so I can hear the air coming through. As you can see it bubbling a bit. And then I'll give it another eighth of an inch turn. And that should be roughly where I have it set. See it's bubbling now. So that's my uh, Deltic 300 protein skimmer stripped down, cleaned, primed, and up and running again now for another month or two, depending. Okay, thanks for watching.